Yeah. Just, yeah, do, do Nora and Kevin. Oh, it's 3.59. I need to see the preview screen. All right. Oh. Hey, oh, wait a minute. Is, is it on? Hey, hey, everybody. I don't know. My oven clock. Wake is, up, Eric. My oven clock is, look, it says 3.59. Look, prove it. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it wasn't me. Hey, everybody, how you doing? <laughs> it's Thursday, it's four o'clock, and we're gonna air fry. Today I'm using the PowerXL five quart Vortex. I'll tell you why I love it as we move along, but it's so easy to use. And for this recipe, it was kind of fun to use it, and we'll talk about it as I go. But um, first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a pumpkin pot pie in a pie pumpkin. Now, that's <laughs> almost that like Peter Piper picked a peck yeah. of pickled peppers. We're doing a pumpkin pot pie in a pie pumpkin. Oh, what a show off. You're a show off. I know. That was pretty good. It was, but if I, if I really thought about it, I wouldn't be able to do it again. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you guys are having a great time. Don't we have a, a, a quick shout out that we wanted oh, to do? Yeah, Linda Duty. Linda Thank Duty. I heard it was my duty to call out Linda Duty. <laughs> Hi and welcome. All right. <laughs> So, like I said, we're going to do these cute little, well, listen, you know, everything's a play on everything these days, right? Everybody's just trying to come up with, with really fun stuff. So, we want to make you use your air fryer or help you use your air fryer as much as possible. And uh, listen, this will work in any air fryer, any PowerXL air fryer. Uh, I just happen to ch choose the five-quart vortex today. All right, Jess, you want to get into the recipe right away? What do you sure. Think? Oh, all right. You're the you're the boss over. <laughs> Am I the boss? I've never. <laughs> wait a minute. We have that on tape. Uh, I'm the boss. I take it back. All right. So come on in here. Okay. Okay. So here's my little pie pumpkin. Now, actually, this is. I would have liked smaller ones, but we got you. Got to get what you get, right? Now, um, some of the other things that it might work in is if you can't find small pie pumpkin. There you go. Pie pumpkins. Uh, try these. These are carnival squash. Uh, very delicious. Uh, kind of like butternut squash. But look how cute they are. Like they're, they're actually a great size for what we're going to do today. And then, of course, we have the honey nut squashes, which you can't use them, but I, I like them so much. These were, they're relatively new. And it was um, a joint venture between like a scientist and a chef. Mm -hmm. And they came up with a way to make a squash even better. Yes, they it's, said it's um, sweeter and more concentrated flavors than the butternut squash. I mean, yeah, it's it's sweeter and honey better. Nut. Yeah, yeah, it's a sweeter, it's better cool. butter. Sweeter, better butter. <laughs> All right, I don't know. I got to stop that now. Okay. But wait, you you forgot to talk about this one. Oh yeah, yeah. And look, this one we grew. We have no idea how. It just popped up in the middle of nowhere. It actually sort of killed my raspberry bush, but. This is all we it's got. Our little autumnal mural. <laughs> yeah, but it's cute. <laughs> but it just literally out of nowhere. It. We, we just I didn't. Love it. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> all right. So go to the store, get your little pie pumpkins. These are adorable. And this is how you make pumpkin pie, right? So what we do is we cut the top off for this recipe. Now we're not going to actually make. We're not going to use the pumpkin to make the. Uh, <laughs> what am I saying? We're not going to use the pumpkin. Now, now I'm trying to do the pumpkin Peter Piper thing. We're not going to use it to actually make the pot pie. We're going to use it as a bowl. So what, what you do is you just kind of cut around the flesh. See this, Jess? Yep. We cut just like this. It's very simple. It's so soft if you've never done it. And then kind of cut across if you can. And then I just pop this out. See that? It's, it's just like doing your pumpkin like if you've ever carved a pumpkin. And then this is the best thing I ever bought. It was super cheap at the supermarket. Look at this. It's like a pumpkin scooper. It's got like little teeth on it. You don't need it, but it's great. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just scrape all those seeds out. All the seeds, all the pulp. I'm not going to bore you and do all this, but this is where you get your seeds from. You wash them off, clean them up, and then we toast these in the air fryer. And I will show you the ones that I toasted in a second. But and once, they made the house smell so good, you guys. Oh, man. 
I know this house smells like a Halloween party oh, or Thanksgiving. It smells great. But you know, when you think of a chicken pumpkin pot pie, I want you to think like sweet potatoes and turkey, right? It's the same flavor profile. So if you think it's like you've never talked pumpkin and chicken in the same sentence, it works great. You got to trust me. And you know what? If you don't like pumpkin, um, don't make this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and if you don't like sweet potatoes, maybe you're too picky. All right. So anyway, I'm just going to put this aside because I just wanted to show you what you do to get it started. You don't want to take out too much of this right here. This is the flesh. And I'm going to show you why in a second. Okay. So let me grab my finished one because this is what I did. So once I scooped it out, I covered it with olive oil. I used my Evo sprayer, which I like, but you can have any oil sprayer. I spray all around the inside, salt and pepper. Then I roast it. I roasted it at about 350 degrees. You know, everyone's going to take a little bit different, but I'm saying about 20, 25 minutes. In the air fryer. I did it right here in the Power Excel 5 quart Vortex. Awesome. You can use any Power Excel air fryer or any air fryer. Now, I didn't over roast it. You want to make sure that it looks pretty like this. It's soft, mm -hmm. but it's not gooey because we want to make it a bowl. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to make your own pumpkin pie, what you would do is you would roast this even further till it's really soft. And then this outer skin peels right off. You peel off the outer skin and then you take the flesh on the inside and you put it in a food processor and then you have your own pumpkin puree. But we're going to use canned pumpkin, pumpkin puree because I wanted it to be used as a bowl. All right. So Jess, come over here for one second. So we have our bowl. Now, after I roasted my bowl, I made my pot pie filling. Now, what's in my pot pie filling? Well, it's, it's very classic, except it's got a twist because we use pumpkin. So I have uh, pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie. We want to make sure that you use pumpkin puree. It's easy to find. It's right next to the pumpkin pie can stuff. Uh, chicken stock, half and half. And then here's my seasonings. This is it. Allspice, cinnamon, and thyme. And then you use a mirepoix, which is carrot, celery, and onions, and some peas. You just need a little bit of flour to thicken it up. The recipe, you guys, is all in there. I also roasted chicken. But you can buy pre-made chicken or maybe you have some leftover chicken or maybe you have a rotisserie chicken. You just pick the chicken and just throw it right in. You cook this for a little while and then that's our filling. This is delicious on its own, but we're going to have a little extra fun with it today. So I'm going to take my Popeye filling and I'm going to pop it right into my little pumpkin bowl. Look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic already? Oh my gosh, it looks like an autumnal dream. But you gotta smell that, right? I mean, oh man, I wish you guys could smell this because it smells fantastic. What a presentation that makes. Now, we're not done yet though, right? So you could serve it just like this if you wanted to, but we're going up another level. We're, yeah. We pounded our little pumpkin with flavor, <laughs> as I like to say. <laughs> we pounded our little pumpkin with flavor. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so let me put our little pumpkin <laughs> over here. Now that, that filling is hot and we want it to be hot. The pumpkin is slightly cool but warm. It's not that imperative because we can, you can put it in the air fryer and heat it up. Now, I have a pre-made pie dough. We pop that out and I'll show you how easy this is and how, it's just fun. This is the like fun part of cooking, right? So we just roll out our pie crust like this. This one got a, it's almost a little too warm, but we're good here. Perfect. And then, I just used a, this bowl. Take anything round that's bigger than your pumpkin. That's all you want to do. Mm -hmm. Anything round that's bigger than your pumpkin. And then I use a pizza cutter. I put this in yeah, the you middle. You could probably use a pie dish. Yeah, you could use a pie dish. Yeah, whatever. As long as it's a little bit bigger than the pumpkin. Now, I like it extra big because I think it looks cool. And this is just an easy way to cut it with our pizza cutter. You can use a knife though. It's no big deal. And then we take this out. We peel this up. You can always use this for the next one. It, it works out great. You can just re-roll it. It's easy to do. Then, guys, trust me, this is easy. It's fun and easy. It looks easy. So I have my little pie pumpkin filled with our pot pie mixture. And then I lay this over the top. 
And then what I do is I start crimping. I crimp just to make it fit. And then once it fits really well, it's sort of like you're, you're doing a little alteration on a shirt, right? <laughs> Which I've never done. And then, and then what I do is I fold it over. But you don't have to. If only just, it was that easy. I know. To alter a shirt. There we go. So we just do it like that. Now, this is a very long one. But, you know, these are all different sizes. It's not an exact science, and it really doesn't matter. So then I take egg wash. This is very important. Don't, don't skip this step. If, um, you know, you, you could brush it with a little butter if you want, if you, don't, if you don't want to use the egg, but the egg really gives it a beautiful shine. Just make sure you get every part of the pie crust because that's what's going to really give you that pretty look. It's not hard to do. You, you could use your fingers. You could use a paper towel. It's super easy. So that's how we do it. Just get a little extra off that's there. That's going to make it golden, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Golden, brown, and delicious, right? Okay. Then what we do is we take the pie, we put it back into the air fryer, but I'm going to give you a tip on how to get it in and out in a second. Um, we're going to roast this. We're not going to roast it. We're going to bake it. My son Cameron just came home if you heard that. We're going to bake it at about 325, 350 degrees, ah, just until it's golden brown, somewhere around 10 minutes. Just pop it open like every five minutes or so to make sure it's not burning. Now, that looks pretty on its own. I'm super excited now because now it's time to take out the finished one and I'm going to show you what I did to get it out. I can't wait to see the finished one. So, have you seen it yet? No. Oh, it's so cute. All right. Now, that's what we did. Now, I want to show you like just a little trick. Now, this is cool to you guys. Oh gosh, this is comfort food. Uh, it, it will be hot. So use hot mitts, but mine is cold because we're doing this for Facebook. Now, I made a little sling. Look at this. This is a great way to get stuff that's big out, that's delicate. So I use the sling to get it out. And there I have my pot pie. I have my beautiful golden brown crust. Look at that, Jess. That really is beautiful, Eric. You got to get in there. I know. I am. Are you? I am. I don't believe you. I'm in there. All right. So I'm going to really, use... Really this cutting board because I think it looks like a pretty presentation. And you know, obviously, use a bigger air fryer, you can make more, use smaller pumpkins, have smaller ones. This is actually a big one. You could have easily done it in this guy. You could have got two or three in the air fryer yeah. if you used a smaller squash. And they're totally edible. You just roast them the same way. All right, so let me get a spoon. Listen to this. Ooh. Oh, so good, right? And then what you're going to do is you're just going to, oh, listen. Oh, I hear it. Oh, the sound of pie crust. Oh, my gosh. So we just get in there like that. Oh, my gosh. And then gosh. you mix. Look at this. Now, that's a bite. See that? Oh, my gosh. It's hot and steamy. Beautiful. But we're not done. So we're after not. we take just the top shell off and mm. take a bite, mm. then what we do is we take the roasted pumpkin seeds and drop those in as a garnish. And man, those roasted pumpkin seeds with this taste so good. You're gonna be like, I don't know, it's like a savory dinner, but it's also- a nutty. It's nutty, yes, but it's like, you know, pumpkin-y, so you like, it's kind of desserty, but it's, it's not too sweet. It's actually not very sweet at all. So anyway, I love it so much. The pumpkin and the chicken, it's like salt and a little bit of sweet. It's so delicious. So, all right, I'm going to stop glowing about this because as you can see, I'm starving. <laughs> okay, we have lots of people. I, I want to hear who's out there. There's somebody called non-social one that said <laughs> adding pumpkin seeds. What a great idea. Uh, someone else, Game Ghoul, said I love kidney beans, which is interesting. Random. Game Ghoul? Wait, kidney beans. Kidney beans. I don't well, know. I don't get it. Dust okay. Tripper said this is fun. <laughs> Carly Contreras from Phoenix, Arizona, and she said she shared it on her page. Thank oh, you. thank you, Carl. Oh, Carly, you just reminded me. Yep. You guys could share it. That'd be great. I mean, if you want your friends to see how we made this, sharing it on your page is a great way to do it, and I appreciate it. Totally. So, uh, Carly, you're nice to see you back. I know you're here all the time. 
Thank you. Nick F. said that looks like a culinary masterpiece. Oh, I don't know. I have to agree, Eric. This is one of my, maybe my favorites so far. Really? Yes. Oh, well, thank you. I, I hey, I appreciate surprise. it. I'll take that compliment any day, any time. Uh, we have, um, let's see, I have to scroll. Scroll, baby. Scroll. I'm scrolling. <laughs> Terry Prophysic said hi. Oh, hi, Cameron, when he walked in. Ah, she yeah. also said this looks yummy. Cameron struggled her name so bad. It was so funny. I was like, just call her Terry P. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bowie Bot says, looks good, Eric. Bowie Bot. There's some really cool names out there. Oh, and why don't you shout out to the um, the Facebook page called Air Fryer Recipes Tips and Talk. Oh, yeah, yeah. Air Fryer Recipes Tips and Talk is a great it's a private site. You have to, you know, do the thing that you do. You join. You have to yeah, join. you join. Anyway, they'll accept you with open arms if you like to air fry. And um, I just started with them, so hopefully they'll give me some great ideas. Because listen, there's like I don't know, sixty or eighty thousand uh, <laughs> out there on that page, and that's a lot of minds, and it's a lot of good air frying tips and tricks yeah. and recipes. And I can't wait to. Uh, talk with them a little bit more. Just kind of hooked up with them uh, about a week ago. So hi guys, if you're here. If not, I'll see you next week maybe. Nice. Uh, Dylan Hardusty said, how do I get an air fryer? Dylan, oh man, there's so many ways. So you could go to TriStar, Pro uh, sorry, PowerExcelProducts.com. They have all of our stuff. I mean, literally the latest, the newest, uh, some sales stuff as well. Uh, you could go to QVC, Target, Walmart, Kohl's, uh, those are some of the best places to go. And listen, there's no offense to any of the retailers that I didn't mention, but it's at retailers everywhere. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you're looking for something special, you could always private message me. I'll, I'll help you out if you not if you're twixt in between. Uh, Alex Olson said, "Like I like the pie, uh, Mister." <laughs> Who doesn't like pie? Any kind of pie, right? Especially a pot pie. <laughs> Mister Misty said, "The pumpkin didn't sway me at first, but then the <laughs> pot pie totally got me." Yes. <laughs> it's sort of like, you know, it's like I a jab, a jab, and then boom. Yeah. Yeah, this one caught me off guard. Um, yeah, you were, you, yeah, you were you you were were skeptical, Jessica Thies. I know, and look, I look. I know. I know. <laughs> Paula Schappen said, hi, Eric, from North Fort Myers, Florida. Oh, God, don't taunt me with the Florida. Toasty Mellow said, I'm a big fan of yours. Toasty Mellow, yeah, I love it. Cool names. This is awesome. <laughs> Nick F. said, my favorite dessert is the unicorn doo-doo cakes that you made <laughs> oh, <the> infomercial. <laughs> Nick, I had so much fun uh, making those and the, the ice cream cones. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do that one day. I don't think I ever made the unicorn doo-doo cones. But believe me, anything unicorn sounds great. Nancy Baker's watching from Mobile, Alabama and always looks forward to your show. Nancy, thanks for always uh, being here. I appreciate your presence. <laughs> And then we have Jillian Beard from England. Wow, uh, Peter Jillian. Piper picked. Ooh, do do it all, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Piper picked. No, I can't do it again. Oh, I, I'm only okay. good once. It's only good once. Oh, you're letting me down now. <laughs> you know, I want to hear it with an English accent. I would love to hear her do it. Oh. I love that accent. I do too. Betty Sue Dixon said, "Yeah, caught you. Yay, caught you live." She was excited. Oh, she caught you thanks, live, Betty. Finally. How you I doing? She probably watched you on repeat before. <laughs> like my mom. Yeah. Every now and then she's live. Sometimes she's on tape. She never knows. Vicky Calandra's here from <laughs> Las Vegas. Oh, I know. It makes you. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. Las it. Vegas. Now that the fall is here, I really want to. <laughs> I really want to fly south or I to know. the desert or something. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hey. This was super fun. It was fun to do a little twist on a pot pie because I do. I love pot pies. Anyway, I had fun. We, we have some, some really cool stuff here with the uh, carnival squash and the, the honey nut squashes and, and our, our little garden squash, oh, which um, it's kind of sad. We only have this little one, but you know, oh, hey, so they, they last a long time. So I'll be talking about this for a while. <laughs> Listen, I hope you guys will join me next week because we're going to do something kind of spooky <laughs> and uh, delicious, of course. Spooky has spooky can be delicious. Spooky, yeah. <laughs> I will see you next Thursday, and uh, uh, thanks for joining. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody.